I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. Hey guys, welcome back to the shop and to another awesome review. Today I have the King Kong 110 GT, uh, also known as the 117 millimeter mini FPV racing drone. Uh, it does have a little tiny 4 in 1 ESC on here, and it's 10 amp BL Heli. It is 125, one shot 125 on here, uh, and it has a micro F3 on here. It's the 6DOF with beta flight on it. And uh, can I go ahead and talk about how awesome this quad is, first of all? Uh, one of the funnest quads that I've flown lately that I've got uh, as far as micros. Now you guys all know that I like the Baby Hawk. It's an awesome flying quad. It has 1104s on here. Now this one is quite larger, so I'm expecting that it's gonna have more power, obviously, but it does have 1105, 7500 KB motors on here. And that makes a little bit of difference on the punch out. So if you do a big air maneuver and you come back down and around close to the ground, say under a tree in a power loop, you're gonna have plenty of power to level out and fly straight uh, or come up and save yourself. With 1104s and smaller props, sometimes you just don't quite have enough punch with these smaller props, um, two inch to, to get back up in the air. So uh, where I've clunk down in the grass before with the baby hawk uh, full throttle trying to save myself just couldn't get back up in the air but with this 110 GT I had no issues with kerplunking uh, I think I crashed a couple times in in the flight test but right away I noticed a big difference in the way this one flew um, now it is sort of two millimeter carbon fiber it looks like 3k it looks pretty nice quality carbon fiber it's not rough or chintzy feeling and they use this larger connector back here, and this is a balance port connector, uh, which is interesting. It works on a 2S battery, and it's running the same size type of battery that you would run on the Baby Hawk or the Awesome 95 uh, 350 2S LiPo uh, 35C. It connects with this, and you know, you have that connector on there. It's not my choice of connector. I would probably choose something like the XT30 for that one. Um, I would probably just go ahead and upgrade that if you can. It's a little tiny connector, you can get them off of Amazon. But it's cool because I don't have to use a larger battery on that. I can use the same batteries that I use on the rest of my mini quads. Um, so pretty cool. And it flies like a much larger style quadcopter. And they've got the VTX tucked underneath here. Let's see, this dipole comes out the back and I've got my receiver wire running up through the middle. Now, this canopies, they need to have a hole on the side because you can't get to the USB to uh, program your modes and PID tuning inside Betaflight. Now, this quad didn't need a lot of PID tuning, actually, in Betaflight. I just took it out with the stock PIDs, and it flew perfectly uh, right out of Betaflight. All I did was set up my switches and bind up my FR Sky XM receiver right there to my radio, and I was good to go. Now the camera on here, it is an 800 TVL camera, uh, and that one also looks pretty good. Sometimes these smaller cameras like that, uh, these little tiny guys, they kind of make me worry a little bit. It was a little bit out of focus, and I did have to adjust it just a little bit. And I wasn't a big fan of these props that came on here, mainly because they felt a little bit plasticky. They didn't really feel like a very good durable style plastic. Um, as you can see, this one took a hit right here on this side. Uh, it's a little rough, but you know, these props held up better than I thought they were going to. I thought they were just going to snap right off because they, they feel like that kind of cheap plastic prop. Um, they feel a lot different than the gym fans, uh, some of my favorite props out there right now. But you probably wouldn't want to run those smaller props on there. Uh, just not going to work very well with this size of quad. But I like this 110 size. I, I think it flies really well, um, and it, it flies way different than my smaller 90 size quads. Now you also get this cool box. I love these boxes from King Kong. They're great. Now the only drawback about this one is that it doesn't fit in there with the props on. So if you wanted to travel with this, you'd have, probably have to take the, the props off. You also get an extra set of props. And those are, again, those kind of chintzy feeling plastic props, but they, they fly great, even though they feel chintzy. You get an extra canopy, which is cool because I like the way it looks. Kind of looks like an atom with this canopy on there. And you get the instruction manual. 
it's in Chinese on one side and it's in English on the other. It also has someone actually wrote on here a personal inspection and checked off a bunch of stuff here for you. And that's also kind of neat. Uh, and you get some M2, 8mm M2s to go through the props. Those are a little longer than what I'm used to seeing. And we have extra rubber bands. We have a sticker in here for all of your channels and the uh, band numbers there. You get a USB cable and you get a PWM cable. I have no idea why they still include these. I don't know really anyone that uses these, so don't worry about that because uh, you're probably going to be using SBUS or uh, PPM on yours. This is the XM manual, so you get that FR Sky XM manual. That's also pretty nice. But that XM receiver has a really nice range. I was getting way out there, um, more than a football field away with this. And this dipole actually works pretty good out in the field. My video looked actually pretty decent. On the first flight, it looked kind of okay. And the second flight, uh, I don't know if it warmed up a little bit, but it really did a lot better job uh, on the second flight out there. So I've got the scale on. Let's go ahead and do a weigh-in for the 110 GT. 61 grams without the canopy if you wanted to fly it that way if you're going to fly it with the canopy you're going to get 64 grams so only a few more grams for that canopy it's super light up oh, 65 okay let's put the battery on there for a total takeoff weight 85 grams total takeoff weight not bad at all so my final opinion on this quad is it's absolutely awesome you will definitely like flying this quad um I, I, if I had the, the 95 GT here to compare, I don't because I got rid of it already. But um, in comparison between the two, if, if you have a 95, go for this one. It actually flies like a different quad. So um, you're not going to have a redundancy if you buy the, the 95, if you already have that one, and then you wanted to buy this one. It's, it's going to be a big difference, a night and day difference in flying characteristics uh, with these two quads. So... I'm on board the hype train with uh, these 110 to 117 size quadcopter frames. Um, and mainly because I can run 1105s on this. And that makes a big difference. Um, so pretty awesome, guys. I like it a lot. So anyway, let's go outside and uh, let me show you what I'm talking about for that flight demo. I'll show you how awesome this thing flies.